After losing more than 750 houses to an indiscriminate forest fire earlier this year, Slave Lake will be getting an additional $189 million from the province to get residents back into stable homes before the winter. Definitely in my mind it's critical right now to provide interim housing so people have a shelter this winter. Uh, so have that on the ground uh, before the snow, uh, snow hits. The province has doled out a second helping of funds to help the town recover from the blaze and place displaced residents back in their homes. Of the $189 million announced Wednesday, 64.2 million will go towards mitigating any long-term social or economic effects, while 77.7 .7 million was set aside to bolster emergency response costs. 64.2 million will go towards installing and managing up to 250 modular homes, all expected to be installed between the end of August and November. We're a little bit worried that if you know a lot more rain and it's not going to be mid-September like they say, so. On that basis, we booked a hotel room for October because it gets tough to stay in an RV after it starts freezing up every night. Residents will pay rent for the homes, anywhere from 1000 for a one-bedroom to 1250 for a four-bedroom. Families with school-age kids are the main priority, followed by families with preschool-age children, then couples and single people. In all, the government has given about $289 million to aid in the fire relief and recovery efforts. At the end of the day, government says they fully intend on following through on their plans for the recovery process. Slave Lake residents say they really have no choice but to take them at their word. Tanera McLean, Sun News, in Slave Lake, Alberta.